What up, it's Jermaine, back in Oakland, back in California. Oh, I'm loving this. I had such a blast in New York. But as you can see here, I'm nice and cool now because I got my sweatshirt on. I'm hanging out with V here. Hey, V. Mm. Hi. <laughs> she is making some tofu over here. Just like so. <laughs> and I'm just chilling. Just, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do something cool. I should probably like switch my accounts, like my caviar account and my Uber account back to like the Bay Area because it's still registered in New York right now. But I think I'm just gonna take it easy today. I'll probably like go to the grocery store, definitely do some cycling. Haven't rode my bike in a while. I miss my bike. So maybe I'll go for a little ride today. I really need to change the chain on my bike. So that's, could, that could be something I could do today. I was gonna make a video today talking about, um, you know, New York, compare and contrast. And, oh, uh, my back is like hurting from the plane yesterday because I was just sleeping on the plane. And then the night before, I didn't get that much sleep because I had to wake up really early and get to the airport. And I stayed up late that night and on and on and on. And so now I can catch up on my sleep. And, ooh, that food smells good in here. I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Man, I've been in the house for too long. I got to get out of the house right now. So what I'm gonna do is take my bike down to the grocery store. I may actually go to two grocery stores and I'm gonna go pick up some items. Let's go do this. Cycled all the way to the grocery store only to discover that I did not bring my wallet. So cycling back to my house to get my wallet. And I think I'm gonna stop by this pizza joint that has a good vegan pizza and get a slice of pizza and just go to a different grocery store that's a little bit closer. There's one really close by that pizza spot, so I think I'm gonna go to that one. All right, as I was going back to the house to get my wallet, I answered a phone call and just picked up a cell phone repair. Pretty much someone's gonna meet me here. I'm gonna have to take their phone completely apart and replace the proximity sensor. It's this little cable that makes the phone go dark, so I'm gonna have to replace that. So meanwhile, I got a slice of vegan pizza and having a beer with that too. And then after this delivery, I'll head over to the grocery store because the grocery store is right over there. I can grab some items, have around the house for later. I'm really craving spaghetti tonight, so I think I'm gonna make some bomb spaghetti with vegetables. But meanwhile, I'm gonna work on this um, vegan slice right here. So, uh, excuse me. Finish that cell phone repair. Now I'm in the grocery store, gonna grab a couple items to make for later man that pizza was really good at that spot oh they got corn too for a dollar i think i can grab some corn here i hung out there for quite a bit i like that place it's called lane splitter pizza they have really good vegan pizza and they have happy hour that's usually dead it's usually completely dead during happy hour but um, it was all right, got to have a beer really fast. And one thing I love about Asian food is a lot of Asian food don't have dairy in it. So I just got this sauce here and I just, you know, quickly look through the ingredients. It's all good. So it's definitely a keeper. Man, I can't wait to try these. These are um, chicken strips, but they're meat free. So they're made out of, um, they're made out of vegetables. It'll be really good. Sorry that this vlog's not like super entertaining and I'm not like bouncing all over the place doing anything super cool. But I just got back in town and I'm catching up on sleep and you know, grocery shopping, doing all that random stuff. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of food here. Let's see if I can uh, make it back on the bike with all this. <laughs> My food bag's at the very, very bottom. I think all this may fit in there. If not, I'll have to get another bag and like ride with one of them. It might be a little tricky. Or I could just call Vanessa and be like, yo, come pick me up, babe. But uh, I think I can do it without the help of anyone. All that food. I don't know if it's all gonna fit in this bag here. Maybe. We'll have to see. Got everything, got a whole bunch of veggies. And I got some junk food. The junk food's towards the front though. All the groceries fit on the front of the bike. And I just got a phone call from Amazon. I got a package that's being delivered and the lady is like one block away. So I need to get there really fast so I can accept this package. Back at the house now and this package 
is right here. And I guess I'm gonna open it up really fast. Show you guys what it is. I'm really surprised to get this package because I ordered it earlier today, like a couple hours ago. And it's already here. And this is a Gorilla Pod I ordered because my camera, um, I have another Gorilla Pod. I'll show you. This is my other Gorilla Pod. This one works great for this camera because this camera is not that heavy. But the camera I'm filming on now, this Gorilla Pod doesn't work that great for it. So I had to get a Gorilla Pod to hold this camera because. You know, this grill pot's good because it's not that heavy and you can wrap it around stuff. But using this camera, a lot of shots I, were, I was missing out on because the Gorilla Pod couldn't hold a camera. So let's open up this one that I just ordered a couple hours ago. Amazon Prime is pretty, pretty nice, especially in the Bay Area because there's a lot of things you can't get same day. But with Amazon Prime, you, you can get those things the same day. Here we go right here. This is a big one. This is for like a DSLR. It's for those heavy, super heavy cameras. Make sure it's not too big. What happened to those scissors? Hmm. Right, here we go. All right, now this is a real gorilla pod here. This thing's heavy, actually. This thing's really heavy. But I'll be able to get some pretty sweet shots with this gorilla pod. And I can hold it out, hold the camera out even farther because this thing's huge. It may be kind of hard to stick this in my backpack, actually. I'll have to like disassemble it from the camera like so to make it stick in my backpack. I can't wait to try this thing right now. All right, so now I'm gonna take this camera off of this tripod and try out this Gorilla Pod. This is pretty sick. Let's uh, do this. It's pretty simple to install this thing. You just take this, this bottom plate off down here. And then you just grip this one into the camera like so. I wonder how is this thing gonna fit in my backpack because this is huge. I don't think this one's gonna break. Like I've had some in the past that they, they like broke on me. I got a feeling that this one's not gonna break on me. This is like very high quality. And I could wrap this thing around something pretty intense too. Because these are metal balls instead of plastic balls. This is pretty big, but I can get some pretty crazy shots with this just because I can open this bad boy up like so and just put it however I want, like bam, like bam. I know you guys can't see it, but. So with this one, I can get some pretty crazy shots. Like I can have the camera like this or like that or like so, and then I can even move this thing around so the camera can do weird stuff like that. Like if I was filming something like a product shoot or something, I could do it like that. It's pretty cool. I like this Gorilla Pod. I'm a little worried about the size, but I'll get used to it. I think it'll be really beneficial for vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm up in this kitchen just cooking. I got uh, some pasta here on the stove. Got some corn here. I'm about to get ready to drop here. As soon as the water starts boiling, it's not boiling just yet. But uh, yeah, we're about to get down. I'm about to make um, some chickenless chicken and some uh, vegetables to add with this pasta. And I'm also going to add some red sauce to the pasta. Yeah, we're about to get down. I'm here jamming out to um, Chance the Rapper, but I had to mute it so I wouldn't get any copyright strikes. But uh, yeah, I am stuck on Chance the Rapper right now. 
here I gotta dash these veggies for my pasta stew I'm gonna make. Better get started on that. Man, I don't know what happened to homeboy Jermaine last night. So I was in the kitchen cooking a bunch of food. I had my cell phone and my new tripod mount and it was recording. I had my computer like off by the stove in the kitchen and I, I remember eating a bunch of food and you know one of our roommates saying, Hey, you wanna buy you want a glass of wine or whatever? So I had maybe half a glass of wine and I sat down on the couch and just passed out. Woke up in bed this morning at what, 4.35, and I'm like, okay, where's my phone, where's my camera, where's my computer, and I'm thinking, hey, this is New York time, this is the perfect time for me to go to Starbucks. So, just cycled to Starbucks, and I guess I'm going to end this vlog because I'm super tired, and I need to edit all the footage from yesterday and put it online within two hours, so I'm going to get started on that. I've already ordered my, what is this, this is a iced coffee with soy that I always get. I didn't didn't remember if I got a sweet tea or not. But yeah, I just ordered it. It should be in there waiting on me in like two minutes. So I'm gonna get in there, get my coffee, start my day, and I don't know, it'll be an adventure. Peace.